Today we're going to be reading your unhinged messages that you guys send me on a daily basis and we're going to read them with my sister. Her name is Brianna. Hey. <laughs> here we go. Ignore the rain, it's pretty loud, but we're going to we're going to do the best that we possibly can here. All right. The first question is from Ash. Would you ever do a meet and greet? Um yeah, I would definitely do a meet and greet. I think it would be fun to meet you guys and to have conversations and laugh a little bit. I think that'd be cool. Do you think that'd be cool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Abby. She says, what is the spiciest thing you've sent to someone or, or someone has sent to you? Um, the spiciest thing that I have sent is probably a <laughs> That is about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone has sent me, um, obviously, you know, inappropriate things. So that answers that question. Um, this question is from Beep. It says, if you, had a, if you had to meet up at a table with the younger you or older you, who would you meet with and what would you ask them if it was only one question? Um, I would meet with the older me and I would ask him, um, where did I go wrong in my life? Like, what did I do? Or what, what could I have done differently to shift me in like the left or right path? I think that's what I would probably do. Jessica says, hardest thing you've had to endure. Oh, dang. I don't even know. Probably. Um, going to high school. Going to high school. <laughs> it's like the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> um, hardest thing I've had to endure is probably um, people leaving my life and just just loss you know i think that's a that's it um hayden says what is one thing you did in your childhood that you wish you could still do now honestly i think i do everything still like i i, I mean as a kid i was always going outside and doing a bunch of other things i, I guess just like ride four wheelers still that'd be fun i used to do that a lot but Until i mean you killed me i didn't kill you Almost, but I didn't. Oh, I just <laughs> didn't do that. Okay. All right, Brianna is going to read them off to me. Okay. What motivated you to make music? What motivated me to make music? Um, just uh, when I was younger, I wasn't able to express my feelings easily, and I wasn't able to just speak. And I think music definitely helped me pull all those emotions out of my body, and just it was honestly a therapy to me. So that's probably why I still make music to this day is just because it helps me mentally, clears my brain, and I just love making art, so. What is one thing you're holding on to? One thing I'm holding on to. I think I'll forever hold this to myself is um, my best friend Calvin. I just, I don't think I can ever, you know, get rid of that. I've definitely learned to live with the fact knowing that he is not, you know, here with us. But it's about it. Yeah. And that's uh, for all those people in the world. The K stands for Calvin. And then the X is like a space. And then the S is just Stutz. So it's KX Stutz. Next question. <laughs> what was something you learned too late? Something that I learned too late. Who's, you gotta say the... Say their names. Who said that? Who? What, what name was it? Ivor J. Oh, she's she's asked like four questions. <laughs> Just um, knowing when to let go of certain things and like letting go of something that's bad in your life or something that is causing you stress or pain in some way. I guess it's taken me a very, very long time to let go of that because I always think, you know, people can change or things will change eventually. And I just like, they usually don't. So, you know, if you got anything in your life that's bringing you down or just gives you a lot of stress, like just get rid of it out of your life. You don't need it. You only live once. Like you just don't need it. Get, get, get it away. Get it out. All right. Get it out. What's one song that means a lot to you? One song that means a lot to me. Um, probably what are you a song? Yeah, you made one about me. Oh, uh, yeah, that one's a good one. We'll play it right here. So you don't have to change yourself for no one. Good song. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, I think one of the songs that I've ever made that really changed my life was probably Stay Alive. So we'll play that here. Stay alive, stay alive. Damn good song. <laughs> Dan Danielle says, tell us the moment you knew, damn, making music is for me. Um, I think whenever the first song that I dropped was called Alone and it got almost like 50K plays on SoundCloud. And there was a bunch of people coming up to me and like saying they like love my music and this and that. And I think right there, I just kind of like knew because it felt good making music. And like, obviously people's feedback is amazing. Like I enjoyed it, but I think that was when I really knew. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take this as far as I possibly can. And I don't think I could ever stop. So <laughs> um, do I have a dog? Issa says, um, no, not anymore. My dog died last year. Her name was Shiloh and she was a wiener dog. R.I.P. Yep, R.I.P. And uh, I do not have a dog anymore, but eventually I will get one. Um, Issa asked, how old am I? I am 24 years old. How, are, how old are you? 18. 18 years old. <laughs> do you not know my age? I know your age. <laughs> what is something major that happened recently, Vinny says? Um, I guess I moved from Oregon to Ohio and I drove 30 hours by myself. <laughs> life changed for me so i guess that's like the biggest major thing that has happened in my life um if you could listen to any of your songs on repeat for a week straight which one would you choose honestly probably the new one that i made it's called uh make up your mind amazing song it's dropping soon so we're gonna play that here a couple of seconds change me i know i need help but you all i ever Um, wait, the rain has finally stopped and we finally have peace and quiet. Give it up. Give it up. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Tracy May said, how do you heal from a heartbreak? How do you heal from a heartbreak? Um, being around good people, um, being around people that you love and or people just, that just, what? Or just be at home. I was just joking. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just being around people you love, um, people that make you laugh and kind of just like forget, you know, I mean, it takes time, 100%. It takes a lot of time and a lot of just focusing. But I think once you wake up in the morning and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna do what I need to do. I'm gonna get my shit done. Then um, it eventually fades, you know, it eventually fades. People have different ways of doing it. But me personally, just um, focus on you. Focus on making yourself happy. Okay. Gabby said, what artists inspire you the most? What artists inspire me the most? Probably every single artist in the world. I get um, inspiration from a bunch of other people. Like, just the way that they carry themselves or maybe the way that their voice sounds and how they carried a word or carry the rhythm. Like, I just... Like, everything inspires me. Just even outside and little small things in life inspire me. So I don't really have a specific, like, one person, but... What about Billie Eilish? Billie Eilish can get it. <laughs> sure. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Okay. She's bi. Who cares? Gay. Who cares if she's bi? That means she likes men and women. I like, know, come on. I know, and I look like gay. a woman. She might be full of Well, whatever. I can I'll turn into a girl. Uh, Mackenzie says, what is going on with your phone case? Um, they used to be stickers, but the stickers fell off. So now they're just that. White spots. Yeah, I don't know why. But I am getting a new phone case soon, so rock out. Somebody said, I like your phone case. How did you get it? <laughs> I'll be selling this phone case, you know, for five bucks if you want it. My hand has touched it, it's been everywhere. I'll kiss it too. Um, like what, what is my favorite song that I've written so far, April says. Um, definitely the new one that's about to drop. It's Megan says, what, what's the best kind of pie? What do you think the best kind of pie is? Pumpkin pie. You like pumpkin pie? I don't like any other else. Yeah. 
I think pumpkin pumpkin pie is pretty good. I also like um, coconut pie. Mm. You're gonna <laughs> that shit up all day. Um, there's another pie. Any anything chocolate. I'm a big fiend for chocolate, so chocolate pie is good for me. Celia says, "How old were you when you lost your V card?" Um, I was approximately 15 years old. Someone asked, "Pancakes or waffles?" Waffles. What kind of waffles? Just regular waffles. No, like okay. I mean, if it was pancakes, they would be like blueberry pancakes. No, chocolate chip pancakes. Have you ever tried blueberry waffles? No. No, mm. they're good. Put some peanut butter on them. Oh wow, mm. the sun's out. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Um, I'm probably gonna have to go for pancakes. I'm not gonna lie. I like pancakes. Chocolate chip pancakes. And blueberries. Honestly, just any pancakes I'm eating, you know? I'm in that. That was like half un unhinged and half um normal questions. I was not expecting that. Um Thanks for joining. Yeah. Anything anything you wanna say to him? No. You don't wanna <laughs> say like bye or anything? Like thanks for watching, like subscribe. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. <laughs> Just copy me. <laughs> All right. Until the next vlog. Adios.